Problem number four says to find all values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem for f of x equals x cubed minus 4x on 0 to 3. Four, we have f of x equals x cubed minus 4x on 0 to 3. And they want us to find all the values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem. So the mean value theorem says that there's a f prime of c, which equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So all we're going to do is plug in the, our, this is going to be our b, and this is going to be our a. So we're going to plug those values into our function and solve. So f of b equals f of 3, which equals 3 cubed minus 4 times 3, which equals 27 minus 12, which is equal to 15. And then f of a equals f of 0, which would be 0 cubed minus 4 times 0, so that's 0. So when I put those values into my formula, I have f prime of c equals 15 minus 0 over 3 minus 0, so that's 15 over 3, which is 5. Okay? So I now have f prime of c equals 5. But they want us to find c. So we need to find the derivative of this function and set it equal to 5. So f prime of c, going from this function, just replacing c with x, I mean x with c. So we have 3c squared minus 4. Okay? And this is going to be equal to 5. So now we just solve. So I have 3c squared equals 9. I divide each side by 3. So I have c squared equals 3. And then I have c equals plus or minus root 3. But I have to look at my interval. And a negative root 3 is not between 0 and 3. So I can take only the positive value. So your c is just going to be the positive root 3. And I believe that that is choice A. So just to review, the mean value theorem says f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So I find f of b in my original, in my points, my interval is my b and a. I find those two values. And then I do f of b minus f of a over b minus a, I get 5. And then I take this number, and I find f prime of c, so I use this, and I just replaced the x with a c. So I have 3c squared minus 4, and then I set it equal to the value I found, and I solve for c. And then you need to check that your answers are in your original interval. Okay. So this is mean value theorem and number 4.